one of the organizers of IDEC, uh, Amukta Mahapatra, she kept inviting me for many years to come to IDEC. And I always thought, this is not my cup of tea. Because I, I'm not much basically an educator. Okay? I'm more of a trainer. I train people, I don't educate people. But this year, she insisted that I come, provided that I would build something out of bamboo. Something that people would enjoy seeing, something that they would get educated with. Now my problem is this, that when I start doing something, I forget the rest of the world. So during this IDEC uh, conference, I was there all the time. But I didn't get a chance to meet everybody, nor did I get a chance to attend any of the sessions, which the feedbacks when I got from, the, from these people, I realized that I missed something great. And I cursed myself that why did I make, come to make this bamboo thing? I could have come as a delegate and enjoyed myself. But as I come around, and meet people and discuss things and it is <clears throat> it is not something that I had planned or they had planned it is all ex tempo we just talk and then we just okay this and it goes on to something else ultimately I try to bring them round to my topic of bamboo because that is sustainable that's the only sustainable item that we have on the world and that can save the planet but as I sit back and listen to some of the other people and they uh, theory of alternative education or um, you know the things that they are talking about the, the way of democratic education at first I thought it was fun but then I thought it, it was funny and then now I when I talk to them I think it's a very serious business <laughs> democracy democratic democracy in education is a serious business and it cannot be taken lightly like I was thinking all the time I remember the first day I, I mean I saw these people I said hey this is a fantastic circus with lots of clowns literally I realized that I was the only clown in there because I was the only one who was kind of not serious on the first day it is only after I started seeing people, talking to people, I realized the seriousness in the matter of democracy and education. Because my childhood was a violent education for me. Because I was caned every day, more or less, by, this, by the school authorities for being a very uh, mischievous person, a boy in school. But now as I look at this, and I think, I think democracy of education has or at the moment has a has some solution to the academics that we have in this world and hopefully it will be taken seriously by parents by schools by institutions and that they would make this a a, 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 a permanent feature in education of children and i think as the next year this finishes and the next one comes up in Ukraine, I want to wish all the people in Ukraine the best of luck as they uh, start seriously working on the subject of democracy and education.